Python split and join methods are extremely useful functions when it comes to manipulating strings and lists. Let's start with the split method. The split method splits, or divides, a string into a list. As strings are immutable objects, meaning that they cannot be modified, and lists are mutable objects, meaning that they can be modified and changed, the split method comes in handy while manipulating strings. Split takes a separator for an argument, meaning the places where the strings will be split. The default separator is white space. If we split this string, we can see that each word is now an individual element in a list. We can also give any strings as the separator argument for the split method, for example, a comma. Now let's take a look at the join method. The join method works the opposite way of the split method. It takes an iterable, like a list, and joins each element to form a string. Let's test this out with a list. First, we declare a string that acts as our separator. In this case, we are using a white space. Then we will use the join method and give our list as an argument. As we can see, the list is combined into a single string, with our separator between each element, which now forms words in a single string. Let's try both of these methods in a single use case. Let's say we want to create a function that takes in a full name as a string with first name and last name and returns the initials. First, we will create an empty list where we want to append our names. Then we will create a for loop where our iterable will be the name with the split method. Now we will append the first character of each item with the upper method, which converts the character to an uppercase letter to our names list. After iterating over the name and appending the first character of the names to our list, we will join the initials with a period as our separator. Let's pass our function a name. And we can see that our function generates initials from a full name. For more Python tutorials, like, share, and subscribe to the PyPros channel.